That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not taking it any further. You take it from here. He's your prisoner, not mine. You're leaving now? 
now. I have to get back to my family. Besides, there's nothing more I can do. I can't help him anymore. And I don't need any more memories of this wretched place. Hey, wait. He's looking at you. What's he saying? Go in peace. Don't weep for me. Very well, sir. I won't weep for you. But I will not forget you. And I will carry the weight of your cross for the rest of my days. The cross is heavy and full of splinters. It leaves a rugged track in the dust as Simon, the strong man of Cyrene, drags it through the streets. Beside him staggers the Son of God, weakened and dirty and battered beyond recognition. He is supposed to carry his own cross, but he can't. The weight is too much for him. You see, he is already carrying the wounds of the world on his back. The sins of the people are embedded in his forehead. His blood, like a sacrificed lamb, has already begun to flow. And so, it is Simon of Cyrene who carries the cross, past the murderous mob, ahead of the group of mourners, to the top of a hill called Golgotha, and there he leaves it. Simon's job is done. The Savior of the world will ask no more of him, nor does he ask any more of us. But, my friends, he does ask something. Weep not for me, he says, but for yourselves. He means for us to feel the full, sorrowful weight of our own sinful souls. He means for us to gather up all our sins and failings and regrets and carry them up this hill. No question they are heavy. No question they are worth crying about. But carry them we must because here at the foot of this cross is where Jesus once us to leave them. Turn them over to me, he says. I'll take it from here, and he does. We drag our sins to this cross, and the trail they leave is instantly covered over by his footsteps. We release our hold on them, and our hands come away perfectly clean. The weight of our sins rolls off our shoulders and on to his, and once there, it disappears. Tonight, as we begin our journey through Lent, we can surely feel the weight of the cross of Christ, but with every step we take, we can also feel its cleansing power. So, bring your sins to this cross, tonight, tomorrow, any hour of any day. All you have to do is leave them here. Your Savior will take it from there.